Hi there, welcome to my compost pile. If you're an individual looking to do something simple and easy to help the planet, composting is a great idea. Any time is a good time to start, but I'm posting this video just after International Compost Awareness Week in 2014, so perfect timing. I'm not gonna to try to teach you how to compost. There's lots of videos claiming to do that. Let's leave that up to the experts. The best way to learn how to compost in your neck of the woods is to reach out to your local city or county waste management department. They're sure to have info specific to your region and climate. I call composting the win infinity scenario because no matter how you break it down or examine it, it's a win situation. It's putting the earth back where it belongs, into the earth, the ultimate in all natural behavior. Composting is basically a balancing act of ingredients. I have to add dry leaves every once in a while, so there is a little maintenance. But overall, I don't spend a lot of time composting. It's easy. You may want to put a fence over the top of your compost or line the bottom of it to keep critters out. If you don't want to do a hole in the ground, some counties have discount vouchers for the compost bins. So yes, there is a little setup, but once you get going, you'll really like the soil you make and knowing you're keeping it out of the landfill where organic material just doesn't decompose properly. Let's learn from the experts. We're throwing away valuable resources that have benefits to the soil, benefits to air quality, water, especially water quality, healthy soils that produce healthy foods. Nationally, we recover only about 3% of the food waste generated in this country. Certainly in California, there are I would imagine hundreds of thousands of households that do backyard composting, which of course is the most efficient way to get rid of food scraps. No one has to collect it, move it, or process it. It all happens in your backyard and you use the end product. Locally, there's a water shortage and severe drought. So again, composting, mulch, organic materials, it's very important to the local community for water conservation. You think composting is an industrial process or is it a crop? Well, we guess it's a crop. Thank you. Now we can go on from there. I'm growing pineapples. I want to bring in some mulch into my land. Can I bring it in my land and do it? Of course. If I have some leftover, can I sell it like I sell my pineapples? Sure. You got to find a way for communities to accept and adapt these type of facilities to really make it happen because it's your waste and it should be done close to where you are producing this waste in order to sell it back to the community. Do it on a community basis where you're getting your elected officials and those with influence in the community on board to have that political will to say, you know what, this is what we're gonna do. This is gonna have big benefits and the technologies are there to use. We don't have to invent them, they're ready to go. A currently existing model in many communities is that we use the money that we would have spent hauling it to the landfill and building landfills to create composting facilities and the material then goes there and the contractors that operate these facilities, they get paid to create a great product instead of getting paid to throw this material into a hole in the ground. Start the practice, change the behavior. There's definitely companies and homeowners who are generating these materials who are you know, see an advantage to sending them off to composting. There's a savings, they want to be green. It is a slam dunk. So here's my finished compost, mostly fruit and vegetable scrapings, peels, cores, husks, stuff like that. Plant material only, no meat. Also some breads, food soiled paper towels, coffee grounds. Not perfect, but a very nice soil with only a few contaminants, mostly these pesky stickers from our fruit. My pile doesn't get hot enough to break down this compostable flatware. Corn cobs, mango pits, and things like pumpkin stems take longer to break down, but you can leave them in there, grind them up, or not. It's all good. Remember, composting is win infinity.